Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we're going to calculate the frictional head loss in this particular instance where we have a pipe that's 100 meters long. It's made out of cast iron. It has a diameter of 2 inches, a length of 100 meters, and the, the velocity of the fluid flowing through it, water 20 degrees, will be 2 meters per second. So how do we go about doing that? Well, first of all, we need to determine if the flow is going to be laminar or turbulent and we can figure that out by calculating the Reynolds number. So let's start with the Reynolds number. So the Reynolds number is going to be equal to the density for water that's a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. The velocity we said was going to be two meters. The diameter was going to be two inches. We need to convert that to meters which is 0 0.0508 meters and we divide that by the, uh, the internal coefficient of viscosity or the dynamic viscosity coefficient of the water at 20 degrees centigrade which if we remember right was going to be 0 0.001 approximately I guess we can add this if we wanted to but that's not really important and uh, let's see what kind of Reynolds number we're going to come up with so we take a thousand divided by 0 0.001 that makes it uh, a million and we multiply it times 2 and then we multiply it times 0 0.0508 equals and that's a pretty big Reynolds number 101,600 and so therefore we can say that it's probably turbulent most likely all right next thing we need to do is going to use the Moody diagram we're going to need to find the relative pipe roughness so the RPR is going to be the constant relative to the pipe divided by the pipe diameter and that's going to be in millimeters so for cast iron that is 0 0.15 millimeters and then we have to divide that by D and that would be in millimeters 50.8 millimeters and so when we do that division 0.15 divided by 50.8 that gives us 2.95 or let's say 3 times 10 to the minus 3 is equal to 0 0.003 now of course we need a Moody diagram and I happen to have one right here just handy and of course to see the little details I'm going to need to put on my reading glasses to see what we're doing here so first of all we go to 101,600 so that's basically 10 to the fifth so I find a point on the Moody diagram that says 10 to the fifth and then I find the relative roughness of 0 0.03 that's somewhere between 0 0.02 and 0 0.05 right here and to do, then I go across here and I find that I have a friction factor oh approximately 0 0.028 all right so that means from using this that the friction factor is equal to 0 0.028 and let me quickly check that again 0 0.03, 0 0.02, 0 0.038. Yeah, that's probably a fairly good estimate. All right, again, it's approximately. So now that we have the friction factor, now we can go ahead and calculate the head loss. So the friction factor, so right here, let's go ahead and put in the equation F times the length times V squared divided by 2 times the diameter times G. And of course, that's going to be in meters. So we put down the factor 0 0.028 times the length, I had 100 meters, the velocity squared, which is 2 squared, divided by 2 times the diameter in meters, which is 0 0.0508, and g, which is 9.8. That's an 8 right there. All right, let's see what kind of friction head loss we're going to find. So 0 0.028 times 100 times 4 divided by 2 divided by 0 0.0508 and divided by 9.8 equals so I end up with 11.2 11.2 and that would be meters let me do a quick check again on the graph 0 0.03 that looks about right so we have 0 0.028 times 100 times 2 divided by 0 0.0508 divided by 9.8 equals 11.2 11.25 yep that's the frictional head loss with other words 
the equivalent is that it looks like we need to put in additional work, additional effort, as if we were to lift the water an additional 11.2 meters over a length of the pipe of 100 meters. Part of that, of course, is that we have a very high velocity, the pipe is fairly long, and we have a pipe that has a relatively high internal roughness of 0.15. All that together with a small pipe diameter of only 2 inches, it's going to take a lot of effort to push the water through at that speed. How can we remedy that? Well, obviously by making this into a bigger diameter and maybe using a different kind of pipe and maybe therefore not requiring such a high velocity for the throughput of the volume of water and all that would definitely remedy that frictional head loss. So that's the kind of the way we want to look at it and that is how it's done.